Welcome to another TUNIT tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy, and in this tutorial we're going to talk about presets. While the presets in TUNIT are easy to use, there's a couple tips and tricks for getting the most out of them. So hang out for a few minutes and let's talk about TUNIT's presets. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply TUNIT to my image here. We're going to go up to the filter menu and go down to Digital Anarchy and go to TUNIT. And this will open up the TUNIT UI, and I'm going to scale it down so we can see everything. So the Preset Manager is up here in the right corner. You've got about 50 different presets to choose from, and as we click on each preset, you'll see a thumbnail that represents what that preset looks like. You'll notice that each preset uses the same image as a thumbnail. This allows you to get a sense of how it compares to other presets, and it's also pre-rendered, so you can preview the presets pretty quickly. You'll notice as I flip through here, it quickly updates, and I can see what the preset more or less looks like. But this doesn't tell me really exactly how it's going to look on my image. And so the big question is, what if I want to preview it on my image? So really the only way to do this right now in TUNIT is to zoom way out. So in this case, we're going to zoom out to say maybe about 20%. And this will enable you to preview on your own image without having to wait for a long render time. If I'm zoomed in to say 50 or 100%, it's going to render this on the entire image and it may take a little while. I can just start double clicking on the presets. And I can see what these are going to look like on my small preview of my image. And I can keep clicking on down the line here and just trying to get an idea of what these different ones look like. Once you find one that you like, and let's uh, scroll on down here to this one. And I'm just selecting this to prove a point once I zoom back in. So I'm going to zoom in to 50%. Because once you've found a preset that you think looks pretty good on the smaller version of it, it's time to zoom in and start looking at it on the larger version. Now there's a couple points to be made here. The first of which is that these presets look different on different images. So when we made the presets, we tried them out on several different images to make sure that they sort of looked mostly the same on each of those images. But there are always going to be images that the presets don't look exactly like we anticipated they would look. And in this case, the presets are really just going to prove to be a starting point for tweaking the image. So we can come down here and start playing around with the goth level settings. You know, maybe we don't want all these white cloud things up here. And so we can move the level down to around 18%. And let's say we want to add a little bit more color in here. We can just adjust the color width up a little bit. And that's going to give us something that looks more like the preset thumbnail than it did when it was originally applied. So it's important to realize that what the thumbnail looks like and how it's going to look when applied to your image may differ a little bit and you may have to come in and tweak the style settings a little bit. Outlines are particularly problematic. You'll have to come in and adjust the sensitivity or the strength or possibly the blur settings to get your image looking like what's in the thumbnail. Which brings me to another important point. Tunit creates slightly different effects based on the size of the image. What the effect looks like as a thumbnail, say if we have this really zoomed out to say 20%, and what it looks like when you apply it to a 12 megapixel full resolution image can be significantly different. So if I zoom in to say 50%, while this provides a good representation of what I'm going to see, it's really not exactly right on. There may be a lot of differences between what I see at 50% and what I see at 20%, and there may be a significant amount of differences between what I see at 20% and what I see at 100%, which is what I'm going to see when I render back out to Photoshop. The reason for this is that Tunis algorithms use the pixels in the image to generate the effect. If there are significantly less pixels, as you'll have when you're zoomed out, it's going to look a bit different when you come in and s zoom in to a much higher resolution. It's a little bit like taking a low resolution photograph off of the web and trying to print it. 
It looks fine on screen, but not always so good once you print it. Now, if you want to see exactly what you're going to see in Photoshop, you of course need to set it to 100%, but usually 33% or 50% is good enough to give you a preview where you're really not going to see any difference. But it is worth noting that if you do use the trick for previewing the presets and you're zoomed out by a significant amount, this may or may not be a good representation of what you see once you finally render out to Photoshop. So that's really all there is to the tips and tricks for the presets. One thing to remember is that you can save out your own presets. It'll save all of your style settings, all of your effects palette settings. And so if you want to use what you've created on other photos or use it at a later time, just click on Save Preset. So thanks for joining me. I hope you found this interesting. And look on www.digitalanarchy.com for other tutorials and downloadable free demo filters and all sorts of good stuff. And thanks for joining me, and happy cartooning.